Alright, up next we'll be talking about the Atlanta species, also known as the Atlanta diverticulum. Okay, I'll be talking about the embryology of this structure and basically um, leading to talk about um, its uses in a developing embryo and possibly the structures which it develops into. Okay, so the Atlantoids or the Atlantoid diverticulum. It's called the Atlantoids or Al Atlantoid diverticulum, right? So I'd like you guys to spot this. This is the Atlantoid diverticulum and it's basically an outpouching. Okay, I would like to say an extension. All right, so uh, it is in placental mammals, the Atlantoid diverticulum is part of the development of the umbilical cord. Okay. And it forms the axis of the development of the umbilical cord. Okay, so basically, uh, can you see, uh, can you see this label side? Okay, and this whole thing is supposed to become the future umbilical cord. Okay, now in this structure of the future umbilical cord, you can see the atlantoic diverticulum. All right. And they are saying that the Atlantic diverticulum is part of the development of the umbilical cord and it forms the axis, right? So basically, it directs the uh, development of the umbilical cord, okay? So that's the main role of the Atlantic diverticulum, right? So Atlantic diverticulum is basically a small diverticulum which is outpouching from the caudal wall of the yolk sac and it extends into the mesoderm of the connecting stalk, okay? So it is extending from the yolk sac. You know, this is the yolk sac. It is extending from the yolk sac and it's entering what is known as a connecting stalk. Okay. And the connecting stalk, remember, later on to become the umbilical cord, right? So the connecting stalk can be called the future umbilical cord, all right? So the Atlantoic diverticulum or Atlantois appear about 16 days of development. Um, later on, with the formation of the tail fold, Part of the Atlantoids is absorbed into the hind gut, okay? So that's the fate of the Atlantoids, okay? So basically, guys, that's it. And um, finally, let's look at the Atlantoids. This is the Atlantoids. I can see that the Atlantoids is part of the future umbilical cord, okay? Being part of the uh, uh, future umbilical cord, it also directs the development of the umbilical cord, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Stick with us as we continue talking about formation of different structures during embryonic development. Bye for now.